What is up, beauties? My name, of course, is Burnsy. Welcome to an episode of Hate Mail. It has been quite some time since we've done an episode of Hate Mail, and I apologize for my voice if it's a little bit hoarse. I've been battling the winter plague over the weekend. I believe my immune system is finally coming out on top, so I feel well enough to do this video. So let's get it started. As you guys know, there's been a lot of YouTube changes, especially the new third-party content ID copyright claim system fiasco. If you don't know about that, it's basically an updated algorithm that YouTube put into their content ID claiming that detects copyrights in videos, and there's been a lot of false claiming. And along with these YouTube changes, I've seen a lot of haters of certain YouTubers saying, oh, looks like they gotta go get a real job. Hey, go get a real job now. I knew when these changes were becoming public, we would see people like this with their get a real job comments. Same people who scream money whore. If you've been watching YouTube long enough, you know these types of people that I'm talking about. And it's because some YouTubers were a little bit forward, saying, you know, this really affects my revenue stream, it affects how much money I can make and how I can make my money on YouTube. So of course, you're gonna get these types of people commenting. And it got me thinking, what is the definition of a real job to the people that make these types of comments? To me, a real job is something that you do for money, that you work at for money, to pay your bills, support your family, and have a little fun for yourself. Any legal way of making money, that seems like a job to me. And YouTube, for me, is really rewarding. And so when I see people say, get a real job, what it translates to me is please get a job that is mundane and is unrewarding and as boring as mine. The types of people that make these comments get a real job to YouTubers are probably working a very unrewarding job that they hate. They can't stand it. They dread going to work. And that's nobody's fault but your own. If you don't like where you are working-wise, find a new job. Find something that you enjoy doing. But most of them won't. They'll go to their job that they can't stand. They'll come home all pissed off. Oh, this job sucks. I spend 40 hours a week at this job and it's horrible. And then they watch some YouTube videos, gaming videos perhaps, and they're like, these people make all this money on video games? Fuck them. They should be as unhappy as me. I work my ass off and I'm pissed off after work. They should feel the same. Come on now. Think of it this way, 120 hours in a five-day work week, 40 of those are spent at your job. Do you really want to be unhappy, pissed off, and just living in an unrewarding environment for 33% of your working week life? Why? It's natural for someone who makes a living off YouTube to react to certain changes that they're unsure about the way they have. It's affecting their living. It's the same way anyone else in any other job would react. Let's say mm, you're working at a uh, factory job and you're going in seven days a week. You're working Saturday and Sunday overtime because you're trying to get that promotion. You're trying to make some extra money for your family at the same time as well. And all of a sudden they say, I'm sorry, you can't come in on Saturday and Sunday. Well, that's what, 16 hours of pay that you're not going to get anymore? Sucks, right? I know. Now people are still gonna be able to make money on YouTube doing gameplay videos. There is just going to be a few changes that people will definitely have to adapt to, but when you send me a message like this, this is just a short message someone sent me, you need to go out there and get a real job. Join society, get out there in the real world. Well, sir, if the real world, if your idea of the real world, is working a job that sucks, is unrewarding, is boring, is stressful, and makes you an unhappy person, I don't wanna be a part of that reality, that real world that you call. I don't want to be a part of it. Sounds it sounds terrible. Sounds absolutely fucking awful. I'd rather live in a world where people can make a living off their passion. Something they enjoy. So if you're out there in a shitty ass job that you just cannot stand and you're screaming at people to get a real job, remember that this so-called fantasy world that you think that we live in is available for everyone. So get out there and take it. And that's it for today's hate mail. For the comment section below, let me know what your dream job is and how you're going to achieve it. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like rating below, possibly a favorite, share it on Twitter and Facebook. If you took a wrong turn and ended up at Google+, Plus, if you could be so kind to share it there as well. Have yourself a beautiful day, and I'll maybe see you. I am